In the last video, we have seen how to render our Pandas data frame onto our Django web app. In this video, we are going to look at how we can train our uh, machine learning algorithm on the data set uh, by clicking one of these buttons, all right? So let's see how we have created the buttons first and then we can look at the uh, Django code, okay? So let's go to our index.html. If I scroll down, so this is uh, where we are training our uh, where, where we are creating both our buttons all right so i've created a form the action is slash train okay and the method is post so this this part is going to be used in our django app then we have something called a csfr token we have to uh, mention this otherwise uh, it won't get executed it will give you an error so right now it doesn't do any authentication and it just bypasses uh, uh, the URL that we are going to, uh, the request response that we are going to pass through. All right. The next part is the button. So I've simply used a button tag and the type is submit for both of them. I've used logit and actually B. So these two things are quite important and we should mention this and remember this because we are going to use this in our Django app. All right. So submit, once we submit it, why do we use submit? Because once we submit it, click on the button, it is going to trigger this particular URL with this particular method. Okay. And why do we need logit and XGB uh, as why is it why is it important? We will look that we'll look at that into our Django app. Here you can style it, style it as like the way you want. This will be the name of the button, the display name that we see on the app. All right. Great. Uh, so now let's head to our uh, Django part. So what I've done is I've used, I've uh, created the machine learning functionality in the models.py. Now to, so disclaimer would be there are better, there, there might, there is a better way of uh, getting how to train your machine learning models in Django. So this might not be the best practices to be followed, but uh, the main aim of the video is to understand why, how to use Django app and how to train your machine learning models with it all right so right now for this particular video i have written it into models.py okay so let's get started i am importing all my necessary libraries that are required make sure you have two next is we are reading the data set all right the data set we have then i'm removing my output column since we are going to train and this is my output column I'm dropping uh, the unnecessary one. So this this is where you need to know about machine learning and how it works. So if you go to the website and the app, I have my machine, uh, I have my Kaggle notebook. And this is where I've uh, first attempted my machine learning and all my algorithms and checked on it before creating the Django app. So you'll find all the code, uh, machine learning code here, all the training, testing and correlation and everything, all right? So all those things about encoding and everything, you can find it on my uh, notebook and the same things are replicated here, okay? So uh, we won't look at the uh, machine learning part here because I'm assuming you are familiar with it. The next is we are splitting the data set. So we have our train and test split and we have done this, all right? Now here's where the HTML Django come into picture and how we are going to integrate it with machine learning, all right? So I've created a function, which is the training, which takes in a response now, which takes in a request. Sorry. Uh, now, as I said, uh, the logit, the name that we mentioned in the button tag into our HTML file is getting used here. All right. So here you see it is logit and I've come here and here it is that we are getting used. So if that particular button is clicked, you have to execute only this part. All right. Let me remove this. Okay, you have to execute this particular part. All right. Now the button is clicked. This gets the request dot uh, post the method that we mentioned here. All right. Then what we do is now we import the logistic regression library. We fit our model. Uh, we fit our training data set onto the logistic regression, and we are going to save this model. Right. So to save the model, we are using pickle. We dump it and we save the model into a .sav format, uh, name, it, name it as LG, all right? 
now this is where uh, you have to return the request and now we have uh, trained it and we are returning it back to our back to the same HTML page All right so like let's look at this how this works so I'll come here let me refresh okay so I click logistic regression so the model is trained and if you go over here you will see the uh, the model getting created lg.sav right so you know the model has been uh, trained now and saved okay now here is where you can uh, do your own things and put a button saying you know saying that the model has been trained successfully all right uh, you may notice one thing that the data that we rendered in the last video has now gone and why this is happening is because we have changed the url so in the last video you had seen the urls.py and in this file uh, in this particular file you can see that it was only indicating to the local host but right now we have changed our url to dot train and it has disappeared so this is what we can fix uh, in this video we're not going to look at it but you can fix this we'll have to we'll have to do some digging and we can fix this great so i have forgotten to mention this particular part let me tell you that too. so just like before and just like before we need to understand uh, the url right we need to understand where it is getting uh, mapped this is where the model gets this is where the uh, url gets mapped so if you go to the models.py and this is the function that we are going to uh, trigger when the button is clicked so in the urls.py you will go and say uh, use this uh, slash train as a part of the url go to models and run the training function that you have oops uh, run the uh, training function that you have in this particular models.py file right and execute it right so this is what is happening right and this is how we train the model and what we are going to do is same same exact same thing we are going to do for xg boost all right so now for xg boost we have another button we have another submit type and we have another name which is xgb so similar once the button is clicked the user clicks the button it will look for xgb and see if the method is post yes it is post it will import the model fit the model into our training data set save the model as xgb.save and again render the same index.html okay so this is the this is the same thing that we are doing for logit and as well as xgb this is how it works right. so if we click on xgboost so it has trained the model you can go back and if you see yes xgb.sav was created right. so this is how you can train your model in django using django with just a click of a button right so this is what this this is it for this particular video you can go through the code understand it if you have any issues or doubts you can ask us in the comments below and we are happy to answer all right so in the next video what we're going to look at is how to download the predictions so we have trained the model on a reading data set now we are going to predict the uh predict the values using the those particular models into our onto our test data set all right Let's see that in the next video. Thank you.